Hello class, we're going to take a look at prime numbers today in lesson 3.3. And so just to start off, we're going to define a couple things. First of all, a prime number is a natural number greater than 1 with exactly two factors, 1 and itself. So a couple import, really important things here is it's greater than 1. Oops. So greater than 1. Uh, means it is uh, one is not a prime number. Sometimes people get mistaken and think one is also a prime number, but one is not a prime number because it has two factors. That prime number has two factors, and one is just one times one. It only has one factor. So some examples of prime numbers are two, because two times one, three. 4 is 4 a prime number? No, because 4 is 2 times 2, and 1 times 4. 5 is a prime number, because it's just 1 times 5. 6? Nope, 1 times 6, and 2 times 3. 7? Yes. 8? Nope, because it's 2 times 4, and 1 times 8. 9? No. 10? Nope. 11? And we'll list a few more. 13? 17, 19, 23, 29, 31, 37, and there's actually an infinite number of primes, 37, uh, 41, 43, um, 47, yeah, 53, and we'll stop there. So you could keep going. There's a lot of prime numbers. There's an infinite number of prime numbers. A composite number then is a natural number greater than 1 with more than two factors. So the ones that I crossed out here and the ones that I skipped are called composite numbers. Now, when you're checking for factors of a number, <clears throat> to, term, to determine if it has more factors than just one in itself, we check numbers and we go all the way up to uh, less than or equal to the number square root. Um, so if we're finding um, if there's any factors of uh, 51, 51, well, if there's any factors of 51, the square root of 51, we don't know that exactly, but we know the square root of 49 is 7. So we really, when we're checking 51, we only need to go up to 7 uh, to check for factors of 51. So here we go. What natural numbers must you test to find possible factors of 30? Well, we would think the square root of 30, well, we don't know that exactly, but the closest perfect square is the square root of 25. So we would only have to check up to 5 to find possible factors of 30. Identify each number, natural number as prime, composite, or neither. Well, the only natural number that's neither is 1. It's the only natural number that's neither. Everything else is either prime or composite. And what we can do here is we can use our um, rules, our divisibility rules that we learned in the last section. And so we can say, is this divisible by 2? No, it's not divisible by 2 because it's not even. 3. The way that we check if it's divisible by 3 is we add up the digits. 7 plus 2 is 9. 9 plus 5 is 14. Plus 1 is 15. And so we summed up all the digits, and then we think is 15 divisible by 3. And it is. So therefore, the original number is divisible by 3. So since it's divisible by something other than 1 and itself, that makes it a composite number. And then 29, <clears throat> 29, the square root of 29, well, we don't know that, but the closest one is the square root of 25, so all we have to do is check up to 5 to see if any factors go into 29. So 2 doesn't because it's not even 3. So 2 doesn't because it's not even 3. 2 plus 9 is 11. 3 does not go into 11, so 3 doesn't work. We don't need to check 4 
because two doesn't work. So we only have to check prime numbers. Uh, we don't have to check other composite numbers. Uh, five, five doesn't go into 21, 29, because it doesn't end in five or zero. And we can stop checking. So we checked up to five. There were no prime numbers that went into 25, so 20 into 29, I'm sorry. So 29 is a prime number. There's several of the prime numbers which I listed before. This is handy to keep track of or have somewhere um, while you're checking. All right, these are ones that I would allow you to use a calculator uh, because it's a little um, too much to just keep dividing and figure these out. You could do it, but I would allow you to use a calculator. So we're just going to do one here. Uh, 823. Well, the square root of 823, um, I don't really know what that is, but I do know the square root of 900 is 30. So I would say we can check numbers less than 30. So we can try 2. 2 goes, it doesn't go into that because it's not even. So, in fact, let's list the prime numbers. So there they are, up to 30. So we're going to try all of these to see, unless we find one earlier, but we can try those. So we're going to try 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, and 29. We know 2 doesn't work uh, because it's not even. 8 plus 2 plus 3 is 13. That's not divisible by 3. That doesn't work. 5 doesn't work. Because it doesn't end in 5 or 0. Let's check 7. So we can do uh, 823 divided by 7. That doesn't turn out evenly. Um, next one was 823 divided by 11. 74.81. That doesn't go in evenly. 823 divided by 13. Nope, 823. Again, I'm using these numbers that I covered up. I guess we could slide this over. 823 divided by 17. It's not looking very hopeful here. 823 divided by 19. 823 divided by 23. And 823 divided by 29. None of those numbers went into it evenly. Uh, so... This is a prime number. And here is an important, <clears throat> it's called the fundamental theorem of arithmetic. Well, it's the fundamental theorem, so it's very important. Every composite number, so natural numbers that aren't prime, can be written as the product of two or more prime numbers. And this product is called the prime factorization of the number. In fact, a lot of people like to write a unique product uh, written as the unique because no two numbers have the same prime numbers as the factor. So fundamental theorem of arithmetic. So just thinking through this, let's take 30. 30, and we're going to start doing some factor trees here. 30 uh, can be written as uh, 6 times 5. Well, 6 can be written as 2 times 3. So the prime factorization of 30 is 2 times 3 times 5. Notice we don't put any composite numbers in there, and we don't put 1 in there. So the prime factorization is 2 times 3 times 5. There are two methods to help us find prime numbers. The one on the left is called a factor tree. Now, the factor tree for 60 doesn't always have to look like that. There's other ways to go about it. Um, so 60 is 3 times 20, but you could have started as 60 is 2 times 30. Uh, so that's a factor tree, and down at the bottom here is the prime factorization. And we usually put it in order. <clears throat> Or we can come over here, and this one's called a factor 
ladder. You start with 60 and you start dividing by prime numbers. You start with the lowest and we know 2 goes into 60 because it's even. 2 goes into 60 30 times. And then we think, oh, well, 2 still goes into 30. 2 goes into 30 15 times. 2 does not go into 15. So we try 3. And 3 does go into 15 5 times. And so 5 times and 5 goes into 5 once. So there are your prime factors of 60. So write the prime factorization for each by using exponents. So we'll just kind of do these throughout the on this page here. So 12, I'm going to do a factor tree. 12, there's a few different ways to get there. We can do 6 times 4, I mean 6 times 2 or 3 times 4. So we have 6 times 2. 6 is 2 times 3, and 2 is prime. So you don't have to do anything else with it, that. We can't factor any further. So uh, when you get to the end of a branch, you have to circle it, like you can't go any further. So our prime factors, again, we like to put them in order, is 2 times 2 times 3. But it did ask us to use exponents. So 2 times 2, remember, is 2 squared times 3. So 2 squared times 3 is the prime factorization of 12. <clears throat> Let's try 125. Well, 125. We know 5 goes into that, and you might have to do some work on the side. 125 divided by 5 is twice. 5. So 5 times 25 is 125. And then 25 is 5 times 5. Well, we actually have that 125 is 5 times 5 times 5, but in exponent form, that is 5 cubed. And then C, 100. Well, we know that's 10 times 10. We could have done 20 times 5 or 50 times 2. But 10 times 10, and each of these 10s is 2 times 5. So 2 times 2 times 5 times 5, or in exponent form, 2 squared times 5 squared. And that is how you find the prime factorization. And we are going to be finished there. So use those tools that you just learned, those things that we just learned to do uh, your assignment.